Hi, it's Gordon here at Averlights, and I'm going to take you through setting up some USB MIDI triggers on AT2. Here I've got my show file and I have plugged in my USB MIDI pad. Now I'm going to go into the system menu and I'm going to find the soft key that says triggers. You might have to press previous and next a couple of times to get to this triggers option. Now the soft keys inside this triggers menu guide you through the process quite nicely. I haven't got any triggers set up at the moment, so I've got a button that says add new. Triggers are something that you have to name. So I'm gonna start by setting up a few triggers that fire some playbacks for me. So I'm gonna call this one playbacks. Okay. The next thing that I've got is add a trigger. Press or move a fader or one or more buttons to trigger. So this is where I can move something inside Titan. If I move a fader, you can see that this menu has picked up. I've moved this fader that's on playback one. The trigger type being hardware at the moment means that it's gonna trigger that actual fader. So whatever page I might be on, it's gonna trigger fader number one, which is perfect for what I want. So I'm gonna say, okay. The next thing that you can see is set st the stimulus that will trigger fader playbacks one. So if I start moving one of my faders up on my USB MIDI pad, then on the far left hand side of this Titan Go interface, you can see that incoming level is coming up and down. If you're on a console, this will be on the bottom right hand side, just above your encoder wheels. Learn is turned on, which means that the console has sensed and sorted out this signal for us. It's decided that it's a control change and it's working on MIDI channel one. I'm gonna say add, and I'm gonna follow the same process for my next playback. Wiggle that up and down, press okay. Wiggle my next MIDI fader, press add. And you can repeat this process as many times as you want. Starting from scratch, I'm gonna set up a few MIDI triggers that select groups for me. I'm gonna go into system, I'm gonna say triggers, I'm gonna add a new one and call this one groups. Okay, add a trigger, press or move a fader or one or more buttons. So if I select one of these groups, you can see on the screen there, it says button groups touch one. Okay, and set the stimulus. So this is the point where I'd grab one of my buttons on the MIDI pad itself. Hit add, grab another group, Hit another button, hit add. Anytime you're setting up triggers, they will not fire up until you leave your triggers menu. This is a nice safety mechanism for you, just in case you have to do it during a show. But now, if I grab my first MIDI button, you can see it has selected this group for me. If I move my first fader, you can see that it's firing that playback because the LED is becoming lit up. If I go to a different page because I've set it up as a hardware trigger, I can fire this playback that's on page one, bring it down, go to my page two, fire that one, go to my page three, bring it down. I'm gonna grab a few palettes as well. System, triggers, and I'm gonna add a new one and call this one palettes. Within these palette, within these triggers, you can add as many as you'd like. So I could add one that grabs that color on that button. I could grab that color, say okay, grab that button, say add. Now, as soon as I select some fixtures, I could say locate, I could say that palette or that palette. That's the basics of how to set up USB MIDI triggering on a T2 or anything from version 12.1 and above and anything from a T2 and larger. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.